safety is number one priority to you and you want to get your brake lights to go from this to this using blinking brake lights then sit tight because I have an install video for you. Hey everyone, if you're like me, safety is number one priority while out on the roadway. Being visible is very important. You'd think with my car being as visible as it is, very distinct, that people would see me, but I, you'd be wrong because I've almost been rear-ended three or four times in the last couple days. I reached out to Blinking Brake Lights and they sent me one of their modules to show you how to install. Now if you don't know what this is, I'll explain here in a second. The Blinking Brake Light module will allow your brakes to give a flash as a heads up that you are hitting your brakes. And most people have a very low attention span, that's why most people skip through my videos. But uh, something that flashes at them catches their eye, which is good and it's actually a really great design. So before I get started doing this, link will be in the description. Go check out Blinking Brake Lights and get yourself a module or two. Now I'm gonna show you how to install it. Before I install it, I'm gonna show you the contents. They do have these crimp connectors, which you would just place on the wire. That way you don't have to do no cut, solder, or electrical tape or heat shrink, which makes it installing super easy but I prefer to have my connection soldered because it's a more reliable connection. So I'll be showing you the soldering method. It also came with a blinking brake light st sticker which I'll be installing on my window right now. All right, now that I got the sticker installed, I'm gonna show you that it came with 3M adhesive which you can put on the back side, which I have already done here. And then when you're ready to mount it, You'll peel this other section off and press it where you want it to stay. So we'll open up the trunk and I'll get started showing you how to install it. Now quickly, before I get started with this install, I did need to tell you that you have to have an LED set of bulbs. If you do not have them, Blinking Brake Lights does sell them. So link will be in the description. Check it out. So I'm going to show you what my brake lights currently look like so you can see the difference from the before I install it and after. Now that you've seen how that looks like, we'll go ahead and get started installing. So there's going to be a few things you're going to need if you're going the soldering route. You're going to need, obviously, some solder, electrical tape, a solder iron, and something to splice the wires. So we'll get started removing the panel up here. All right, so to remove the panel on the G35, it's simple because all you have to do is remove all these clips, just like that. Now you've got them all popped off like that, you just remove. But you've definitely found the wire to your third brake light. You'll want to disconnect it. Make sure the battery cable is disconnected, which I've already done. You're going to want to locate the wire. And if you're doing the cutting and soldering method, then you'll need to cut about a couple inches so you have some room to work with. All right now that you have the connector and wiring exposed, you'll go ahead and you will trim the plastic off of the wiring to expose it like this. Right now that you've exposed both of the wires so you can solder them, if you look at the module it says which side is in and which side is out. You will take the negative wire in to the negative wire out. Do the same for the positive. And in case you were wondering, the negative side in would be the connector. So go ahead and reconnect the connector like this so you don't get confused. Now make sure none of your wiring is touching each other. Test it and verify it before you solder each joint. Now that I've verified it's working, I'm gonna go ahead and solder each connection. Now that each connection is soldered and you've let it cool down, you can electrical tape the connections. If you prefer, you could put heat shrink on first, then heat shrink them, and then electrical tape. But I use the electrical tape just by itself some of the time because it works perfectly fine. Now that you've electrical taped each of the connections up, you'll want to clean this up by wrapping all of it together and making it cleaner. You can do this with a wire loom or you can just do it the way I'm showing you. 
All right, now that you've got it in somewhat of a loom, you'll take the adhesive off the back side, make sure to find a good place that it'll stick to, and stick it to it. Now that it's stuck to it, you'll reassemble the inside of the trunk liner and give it a test. Now I'll hit the brakes and you can see how it looks. All right, as you've seen, definitely has more flashy effect, grabs the attention of the people. So I highly recommend visiting their website, which there will be a link in the description. As you can see, it was a really simple and easy install. If you don't have heat shrink, solder, electrical tape, or soldering iron, I highly suggest you use the connectors it comes with because it does work as well. Now, I just prefer a more solid connection that won't come loose over time. That's why I soldered them. I wanted to give a huge shout out to Blinking Brake Lights for supplying me with the module to show you guys how to install it and how to be more safe on the roadway. You guys put a lot of time and effort into your builds, and so do I, to protect my car and my family from other people who just aren't paying attention. So this is one method that's cheap, but effective, and it works well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like this video, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn the bell notification on so you get notified of more uploads, and check out my other videos because I have a ton more just like this. Thank you for watching. God bless.